I'm saying everyone likes to score the basketball. Is this team, you know, kind of having fun with trying to be a defensive team and getting to the to where Coach wants you guys to be defensively? Uh, yeah, I think we're definitely a, a good offensive team naturally, but you know, a big part of becoming a good team is working on our defense every day. And, you know, we're trying to predicate our team on our defense and, you know, try to see if we can build some of our offense off of our defense, you know, creating steals and just getting fast baskets in transition. When you played on last year's team, you know how offensively good they were. This team may not be quite right that level. Is defense going to win games for you guys this year? Uh, yeah, I would definitely say that it, it can be right up that alley. That defense is definitely going to be a, a big key for our team this year. And, then, you know, if we keep working and, and keep preparing for games like we have been lately, then I think uh, our defense can definitely be a key component for our team. Alex, you personally, what were the areas of defense that you worked on in the offseason, you know, emphasized to, to try to improve that part of your game? Um, you know, we've all been working since we've been here in the summer. And, like, some of the things I've been working on just – you know, just staying solid, staying in front of the guy, and also, you know, being up in passing lanes and trying to get some steals. Alex, how big of a difference do you think there is between this team and, like, last year's team offensively? I mean, obviously we see you guys play full-court defense. It's different in that regard. But how does it compare to, like, last year where it came so easily for you guys offensively? Yeah, I mean, I think last year was a team in its own. But I think this year we're definitely a more balanced team. And, you know, we have more guys that – are capable of coming in off the bench or, or being a starter and, and having a hot night. And I think that helps us because, you know, we're capable of bringing guys off the bench with fresh legs and we're more capable of rotating guys in, especially if somebody gets hurt or somebody gets tired. Mike said the other night, like when we asked about a change in the starting lineup, he was like, well, that doesn't apply as much maybe as last year or the year before the question that you're getting different looks at things. Is there a feeling that you guys are kind of a work in progress in that regard to start this season? Oh uh, yeah, I definitely agree with what Coach said. I mean, we we have, like I just said, we have a lot of guys who can play, and you know we have different starting lineups that we can come in and, and put in the game depending on who we play. Or so it just depends on what kind of matchups we want to get. So I think you know that balance and depth that we have is a, is a good thing for our team. What did you guys learn about yourselves the t playing without Trey the other night? You only played nine minutes. Um, what was that like for you guys? Um, it definitely showed us that if Trey's not in the game, you know, we have to pick up our defensive intensity and, you know, sort of pick up the slack where, where he's left off because he is such a great on-ball defender. And, you know, if we can pick up that intensity when he's out, that'll just make us an even better defensive team. We've seen two number one teams go down now. First Michigan State, then Kentucky to Evansville. What is the process going to be like for you guys to be able to win six games when it comes to postseason post time? Uh, I mean, that's... You know, that's kind of come postseason, you know, that's what you work all season for. You know, you, you play those tough games, you play road games. So, you know, we're just going to, you know, we just, our big focus is just to prepare each game like we do for, like, all the time, no matter who we're playing, no matter who our opponent is. We just want to make sure that we prepare the right way. Alex, <coughs> coaches emphasize the fact that he doesn't want to people strictly assign roles throughout the season. How does that affect your mindset going to practice and the rest of the team? You know, what have you felt in the locker room in that whole atmosphere? Uh, yeah, I mean, it definitely not having a strict role. I mean, everybody knows what they can do, and, you know, we try to make sure that we do what we do to the best of our ability. And, you know, it gives you more of a, a more free mindset, and it gives you more confidence going into the game, obviously.